These young women are singing in Lani language of their country in the mountains of West Papua. Since 2019, Indonesian military sweeping operations have forced over 60,000 tribal people off their land and out of their homes. These rockets were made by the French arms manufacturer Thales and were fired by helicopter into a church in the land of the Moni people. On this Moni land, there is an enormous gold deposit from which the Indonesian government is eyeing literally hundreds of billions of dollars. In October, the Indonesian military started rocket and bombing attacks on the Kiwirok region, the site of yet another gold deposit. Military drones bombed five villages with these Serbian-made mortars. They're throwing the bombs into the garden and the food, they're destroying it. The OPM-TPN is a guerrilla army, which is raised from within the tribal societies and resists Indonesian colonization. Today, these warriors, with the knowledge of their own country, continue a resistance against Indonesia. This conflict is forcing these First Nations peoples to leave their mountains. Some have crossed the border into Papua New Guinea, others are hiding in the forest, and thousands of people are now displaced to temporary camps. After 50 years of struggle, these Indigenous people remain determined to protect the property that their families have farmed for thousands of years. We have set up the West Papua Land Rights Fund to support local lawyers and advocates seeking to enforce traditional and customary land rights. Please click on the Chuffed fundraiser and give a donation to the legal campaign to recognise land rights in West Papua.